Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a singles new love reading for my dearest Cancers. Cancers, this is just a huge thank you for showing my channel so much love and support week after week. It truly means the world to me. I love my fellow Cancers out there so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go ahead and see what uh, messages come through for you regarding the new person headed your way. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Cancers, please. All right, so we have a Hierophant. So you could be calling in a Taurus. Okay, we have the Five of Cups. What they like about you, the Ace of Pentacles. And we have the Tower. Okay, so this is going to be a total surprise, Cancer. Now we do see double fives coming out, so that's about changes, conflict, but I also feel here you have someone who's looking for a serious commitment, but they've also been seriously hurt in love. Um, they're excited about a new beginning here with you, with the Ace of Pentacles, and with the Eight of Cups, it looks like you're moving towards the Ten of Cups with this person. Cancers, this is meant to be somebody completely brand new. Those are my intentions for this reading, but I'm not going to lie. For some of you, this is someone who's coming back around, okay? And you'll know who you are. We'll, we'll get the, the additional messages that you need to hear regarding this person. For, for a very select few of you, it may be a return of a past person, um, but I'm going to read this mostly as somebody completely brand new. So they could be a Taurus or they could have Taurus placements, which tells me they're very down to earth, they're patient. This is somebody who's very persistent. They're also extremely compatible with you. Friends and family are going to get along or, you know, they're going to, you know, um, it's going to be a good match. Even friends and family are going to be happy about this connection for both of you. All right. We see the Knight of Wands and we see the Six of Pentacles. It looks like this person has really been done dirty by someone who was playing them. So it could be in a marriage that they were in or a commitment or maybe just the last person they dealt with before you, Cancer, was a bit of a player. So I do feel they have a little bit of that baggage when they come into this connection or they're going to tell you about that. Um, some of you, too, they might have also been deceived by someone, like lost, like, you know, they might have been like catfished or something, or they were dealing with someone who was a bit of a, I, I hate to say it, but someone who was a bit of a gold digger in their past, this person might have a lot to offer, but it looks like, you know, they, they got hoodwinked in their previous relationship and not because they're normally, you know, docile or, you know, naive. It just feels like they've been through something kind of serious. It could also indicate too, that it was a business relationship that didn't work out, or maybe like they had a business partner here, cancer that, um, that left them high and dry. It's kind of what I'm getting. Yeah. And it just feels like there's still some sort of energy of like an ex or something very, something here that's been very hurtful or disappointing to them. Now, I do think you're going to change all of that. And I also see that, you know, it's important to see if this person is bringing a whole lot of baggage into this new connection, but I don't think so. I, I just feel like this is how, this is some of the stuff that you two are going to talk about. Okay. And that's how you're going to know who this person is. They've been like, I don't know if they got really like screwed over by like a, a legal decision that was made um, or if they got really kind of, um, yeah, screwed over by like a business partner or something like that. Could even be like a family member here that like took a lot of money from them. Um, but it's not because they're dim or they're docile, okay? It's like it was something, um, you know, I feel like it's going to be kind of understandable here. They invested with the wrong person. All right, so we see here this person is somebody who's deeply committed. They're strong. They've definitely got your back. And they could be a Libra. All right, so that cardinal energy, they're ruled by Venus. They enjoy beauty. Fairness and harmony in relationships is important to them, Cancer. Yeah, there's this karmic soulmate or partnership. Again, it may not be romantic. That's still around them. That's how you're going to know who this person is. Or they're going to talk to you about this. You know, they might have a lot of debt because, like I said, a business partner left them high and dry. This person is somebody who does enjoy travel or has done a lot of traveling in their past. Regardless, they have great stories to tell. They enjoy new experiences. They're going to be upbeat and fun to be around, fun to be with. All right. So we see the uh, five of cups here. Your person, again, there's that disappointment I was picking up on. But I, I actually think you're going to, like, they might be focused on, this th on these three cups that have spilled, but... You're their two of cups. I think you're going to also help shift their focus or take their mind off of things. Okay. This person is a bit mysterious. I'm getting Pisces energy there. Um, they may be in their 50s. 
Okay. And you may meet this person through friends. All right. And they love to experiment. This person does like to take risks. I also think they love to like try new restaurants. They like to go to new places. This is someone who's definitely going to, you're going to have a fun life together is what I'm hearing. Or you're, when you guys are dating, it's not going to be boring. Um, you're going to be definitely trying new, new things all the time. So let's see, what else do my cancers need to know to identify this person? Okay, they have a very unique smile. They might even have a little bit of a crooked smile or maybe, you know, some crooked teeth, but it's like endearing. You know, it's like sweet and endearing. They're going to come into your life when you least expect it. Yeah, somebody here might also have a gummy smile. Um, they go by a nickname and they may have a severe allergy. And this person may have blue eyes or light colored eyes. Okay. And what else do my cancers need to know about this person? What else do my cancers need to know about this person? Ooh, they're a great cook. Yeah. And this person, they like to try like different, different like ethnic foods or, you know, they might not, you know, be Jamaican, but they love, like they specialty, they specialize in jerk chicken or something like that. Or they like to, you know, I'm hearing like East Indian dishes or, you know, this is just somebody who's, they, they like taking risks. They like trying new things. Um, they may have worked or work in the culinary field. I definitely see they may be of a different background than you, um, but that's not going to be a problem. You two are very compatible. We see they might have brown or hazel colored eyes. So that can be light brown, dark brown. Oh, and we also see blue, green, or gray. So they really could have any eye color here. <laughs> All right. You'll know I'm reading for a lot of you. And this is somebody who's educated, whether that's the school of hard knocks, right? But they're articulate, they're well-rounded, they may have college degrees, but remember education comes in so many different forms. So this is somebody you're, you're definitely going to connect with mentally, emotionally, physically as well. Um, this is going to be a lot of fun. And I feel this is what my cancers, um, you know, this is what my cancers like. And, and it's funny because I do think for a lot of us cancers, the way to our heart is through our stomach, right? We're very, <laughs> we like food. We like good food. Um, so somebody that gets that mm, is definitely going to win us over. All right. So we have the Ace of Pentacles here. So they're going to see um, investing in you. All right, they're going to see a new beginning. They're going to see all of this potential. All right, let's see. And yep, for some of you, this could be a secret admirer. But what they like about you, Cancer, is with the High Priestess in reverse, um, There's you're also kind of mysterious. You two are both similar in that regard. Um, you know, you're both very sensitive. You're both very mysterious. So you're kind of gonna, going to understand each other. Um, they also see you as highly intuitive, creative, and compassionate. Yeah, and the Ten of Swords in reverse. Some of you, I'm not going to lie, this could be somebody you've had an ending with. Could be somebody you have an ending with. So just be careful with that because, you know, this is not meant to be a reading about exes or an ex coming back around. But for some of you, it just keeps coming through. And for others of you, this is just an indication this person knows you've been through some tough stuff, Cancer. And they admire the fact that you've come out the way, come out of it the way you have, come out of it stronger. And uh, the two of wands in reverse tells me you do have a big decision to make here about this person, whether or not you want to get involved, especially for those of you where it might be somebody from your past. I know that's going to bother some of you, but hey, I can't change the messages that come through. And for others of you, you know, this is just a reminder to look forward um, this person too, they might be a little bit stuck on upset or resentful about what they've been through. But again, I do feel like you naturally shift this person's focus cancer and your job is not to heal anybody, but I feel like cancerian energy is generally quite healing and nurturing. And so I do feel whether, whether you realize it or not, you're going to have a very, very healing effect on this person and renew their faith in humanity, renew their faith in love as well. Um, what else they love about my cancers? Yeah, they love like what you love, that you delight in the arts without having to be a professional. And some of you, you're going to really love cooking together. That's what I keep getting. But they also love that you're up for a good time, that you're going to really like what, what you, each other likes in music and art and movies, even if it's different. But I feel like you're going to be constantly showing and teaching each other. You know, this, where, this is where I'm from. This is how we do things. Or this is the type of music I like. Um, maybe you'll like, you know, this song, this, this artist, what have you. 
And yeah, this person, they realize they have a lot to learn from you. Yeah, I love this energy. I love this energy. And they see you as a spiritual guide. So some of my cancers, you know, if you're, and I'm assuming many of you are, you're well-versed in tarot or astrology, things like that. They, this person might not be, but they're going to love that you read their birth chart to them. They're going to love that you know what's up during Mercury retrograde and the transits that are happening. Like they're going to consult you and they're going to love doing that um, because it may be something that they're not quite aware of, but they've always been interested in. Or they know you love it and they just want to hear about it because of that. So beautiful energy thus far, Cancer. With the tower here, I think this is going to be totally unexpected. Totally unexpected. All right. And oh, it's time to make a decision about this relationship. Yeah, some of my Cancers, this is because you have options. Um, and that's, you know, not necessarily a flex. It's just the case, right? Some of you might be talking to somebody else. Some of you, you might have other people vying for your attention. But some of you, the big decision is about whether or not you want to reinvest in this connection. So do be aware of that. All right. Your true love is already a part of your life. So most of my cancers, this person is already around you or in your energy somehow. And the here and now is also just a reminder, cancer, to stay present. Focus on you and make the decisions that are best for you, Cancer, not for anybody else. And this connection, this connection is passionate, but not enduring. So some of you, this was a connection that couldn't go the distance and they are coming back around. So you need to be very discerning about that. For others of you, you know, you have a big decision to make. Do you want to be invested, involved with this person? Um, do they have what you want and need? I mean, I feel for a lot of you, they do. But I can see here that there's a big decision to make. So let's see. Any additional messages here for my cancers? Reaching out. So this person's going to be the one to reach out to hit you up. And um, we get physical touch. So it's going to be a very physical connection. All right. Don't rush into the physical if you're not so sure about this person, Cancer. And we see Forever Young, a song of youthful playfulness. So there's going to be a beautiful, playful energy. I do kind of get a Six of Cups energy from that card. So I can't move away, Cancer, from the fact that this might be somebody you already know. <laughs> I, you know, I can't change the messages, Cancer. And, and, and for some of you, that's not like you don't know them this lifetime. There's just a sense of familiarity between you two. All right. And we have, there have been delays. And let's see, we see not likely at the bottom of the deck. But tell me more important dates for my Cancers here with this person. And take steps to speed it up. Okay. So doing that self-care and that self-love might be the steps that you need to take to speed it up. And this may be happening in or by September, but it's definitely going to come back around this year, Cancer. All right, Cancers, let me know how this might resonate with you. If these messages do resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using. Or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, and just a quick reminder about private readings, I'm not doing them the beginning, um, sorry, the first half of May, I will be going on a little adventure. And if I can take you all along with me, I certainly will. So keep your eyes and your ears open for um, videos that, um, that uh, videos or pictures that I may be posting of my travels. Um, if you want to see that, all right, sending you guys so much love and light and a huge thank you, Cancers. Take care.